Hi, my name is Kasia Dukowska and I am a visual artist and assistant professor at Zayat University. Hi, my name is Sharon Lindenfeld and I'm also an assistant professor at Zayat University. I'm a printmaker and usually I would use a printing press chemicals, equipment, and various supplies in an art studio at school for my work. I'm a mixed media artist and I work across a traditional painting and a digital manipulation. In the spring of 2020, we went into lockdown and we were both finding ourselves in our apartments, isolated away from all of our studios and our artistic community. So we decided to do a project together. We both lived down the street from each other, the same street, so we had a similar view outside the window. And we decided to do a project where every day for 60 days, two months, we would draw or paint or print the view from the window. This project allowed us to still keep hope on our creative endeavors and still feel like we are a part of a greater visual family of artists and creators. So every day we looked out these windows and uh, we saw the outside world that we can no longer reach and we felt very disconnected and isolated. It became a diary of sorts since every day we would make a piece. So visually, the plexiglass part of my work represents the barrier that the window is creating and that was a very, very important part of the whole experience. The whole of the anxiety, the feeling of the insulation made your life feel obscured. Suddenly, all of the certainty that you had in your life was gone there. It was very, very challenging. You didn't know if you were actually isolating in the lockdown for months on end or just five seconds. It would not make a difference. When you are anchored in one place, suddenly a very small things become super important in your life. So for my part of the project, I did two bodies of work. The first was a daily print. I looked out the window and I had my copper plate and an etching needle and I drew the uh, view of the window into the plate. So every day I would print it for 60 days using whatever I had around the house instead of ink. And then I used a spoon to actually put the pressure on the plate and print it. The other body of work I did was a series of graphite drawings of airplanes. And the airplanes I made through kind of drawing slash print hybrids where I did rubbings. I found random objects around my house and made rubbings from them. I also cut out shapes and poured graphite powder on them to create stencils. So this was my way of being able to do printmaking at home. I think it was it was very important uh, thing in, in our life in that moment. Uh, it, it definitely connected us together. It provided us hope of the revivication of the arts communities. Yeah, and also having this um, daily exercise gave us a lot of structure to the day and we could, you know, take pictures of what we did that day and send it to each other. So we had um, this instant something to look forward to, some sort of daily practice. So one year later, looking back now at these prints, I realized that they're actually a lot darker than I remember them being. Um, they also really represented my state of mind on different days. They are a record of what was happening in my life that day. I think it's important they just stay the way they are. Uh, and I feel this sort of detachment from them. They feel like a very separate time, even though we're still very much stuck in the pandemic. It, but it's uh, very contemplative now for me to look at them one year later. I look at this work as almost a capsule. I think there was an urge, a need to actually show that this is very stressful because it's very uncertain. And, and I think that really, really helped us. And hopefully you can, you can join in that feeling of almost like a catharsis coming through the very repetitive work based on, on, on monotony. And that was very relevant uh, during the pandemic. But in my mind, I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking this still is very relevant because we are feeling very disconnected. That was something that was happening before the pandemic, just on the lower level. If you look at it as a record of an isolation, it's something that's a very valuable issue in this time.
and I hope that, that you can actually see uh, the bright light shining through it. So thank you very much for joining us and I hope that you enjoy the work either seeing it online or in person at the Foundry Gallery and we hope that you will stay in touch. <laughs>